Construct an equilateral triangle. We're going to use a compass and a straight edge. We can use the method of constructing congruent segments to construct an equilateral triangle. In video 1.2, back in chapter 1, we learned how to construct congruent segments. So let's do a real quick review of that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to either copy a segment or make a line segment. And you don't want it to be too big because you want your compass to be able to measure it. If you make the line segment too big, we'll have to open our compass too wide and then it'll be difficult to handle. First thing we do is draw a line L. And we choose a point on L and label it C, like this. Then we open the compass to the distance of AB. We keep this setting. We place the point of the compass at C and we make an arc on L. We can label this intersection D and this segment CD is congruent to segment AB. We've made congruent segments. So now that we remember how to make a congruent segment, we can construct an equilateral triangle by making three congruent segments. We start with a line segment like AB and we measure its length with the compass and we keep that setting. So we're going to keep this setting of our compass. Now all we have to do is, because we have this setting, we can place the compass point on A, like this, and we can draw a little arc up here. And we do it again for B. We make a little arc. And where they cross each other, we can label as C. Then all we have to do is draw AC and CB, and we have our equilateral triangle. Now we can do this if we're just copying this and drawing it on line L. So just as we did in the beginning of the video, we measure AB and we draw line L. We put a point on it, C. We put from this measure, we put our point on C and we make an arc and label it D. Now, that we've got D, we use the same setting from C to D, and we put our point on C and make an arc, and put our point on D and make an arc, and we can label that E. We just draw CE and DE, and we've constructed an equilateral triangle. Our next lesson is going to be about the triangle sum theorem. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you're doing well and I'll see you next time. Bye.